Hi all, welcome to Balkan Shipyards, winter in the Balkans. So, I've been going on about the uh, popular life for boat building, small boat building, uh, dinghies and stuff, and uh, I believe that popular marine is the next stuff. I really want somebody to understand this and start making the stuff. I think it's a question of time before somebody realizes it, realizes it and gets down and starts producing it. So this video is about proving that point. Okay, so this is old Boyko, you know him. And you remember that fancy plywood skirt he had on the front? Uh, so that's the reason he had it over there, because uh, that's just uh, so rusted and so messed up that I never felt like uh, fixing it, so I just put a whole plywood thing. This is the front piece. That's four millimeter poplar ply. That was mounted over there. I hit a jackal and I killed him. I was driving, it was about 10 o'clock at night through the Balkans. I was doing about 75 kilometers per hour. I was in the deep forest, it was all dark and stuff. The second I saw him was the second I hit him. There was no... I didn't... I only understood I hit him after I hit him. There was like... and then a flash in my mind was like, oh yeah, there was an animal. The next morning when I went back to work, again 50 kilometers through the Balkans, I saw him on the road, he was... Dead as a dodo. Sorry. And uh, he flashed this piece of ply. This is four millimeter ply. And uh, I just want you guys to understand this. This has been on the car for over three years. Okay. I didn't even paint it inside. This I did last spring I just had a little bit of leftover epoxy primer so I just put it on the bottom that's the low that's the low uh, you know like I was lying under the car and I was just putting it on for fun this, uh, this I just put on recently and this is all the fixes that I did onto it because I've been breaking it over the years hitting stuff and stuff so that's the bottom end yeah this has never been varnished never been painted never been anything zero delamination this is real good ply. This ply is made by Welder. Uh, I'm not advertising them, I don't work for them, they don't pay me. They just make good stuff, that's the bottom line. This, uh, this ply is glued up with phenol from all the height. Three years, three and a half years on my car. Might snow, sun and rain. Z nothing on the inside. This ply has been getting soaking wet. Look at it, zero delamination. This is amazing stuff. This is just unbelievable. No lot either. No lot. Where's, where's the light? Show me a lot. There's no lot over here. There's no lot. Yeah, it's wet now and it's all messed up. It's all broken to pieces, okay? You've got to agree with that. I mean, this thing had a... This is only four millimeter. This thing's been through a wall. Okay? But... Look at it. It's good as new. Nothing wrong with it. No delamination. So here's the new piece. Just cut it up now. Mm, gonna slap it on the car really soon. And uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is, if you want to build a small dinghy, go ahead, make it out of poplar ply. Cost you nothing, you'll have a lighter boat. And believe me, it's not going to rot as fast as everybody tells you it's going to. I've tested poplar ply, I've boil tested it, I've done all kinds of stuff to poplar ply. This poplar ply on this car, those pieces have been there since spring 15. We are now winter 18. Three and a half years, no paint, nothing on the inside. Just bare ply. This one that I had in the front would have still been here. But, uh, you know, the jackal paid for his life on removing this thing, so I guess it's an okay deal, if you could call it that way. People, the future is popular marine, and just tell them. Just tell them out there, all the big companies tell them, just make us popular marine. What we want is, 
we just want it glued up with an awful moldehyde and uh, for an awful moldehyde the way you recognize it is I'll show you on the new sheet this is just a small knot that's popped out let's go to the light you can see the glue it's got to be dark brown dark reddish brown and if you look between the layers you can see thin dark lines black lines that's the normal moldehyde this stuff never delaminates never ever so if if somebody could make ply with this quality clean nice ply poplar glued up with phenol formaldehyde that's poplar marine that's all we need it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to say poplar marine it can just say marine grade or something it can say something else it doesn't have to have all the stamps of the BS 88 or whatever it's called and all that stuff we'll forgive you if you don't have that just write on it marine grade and that means keep the knots down to a minimum also in the internal layers glue it up with phenol formaldehyde and that's it and just sell it like wild it glows it glows faster it, 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 there's much more of it it's cheap to make it's lightweight it's the strongest ply out there for weight no ply will beat poplar ply when you take into account strength per weight it beats them all. That's what's the standard of all caravans today. All, all caravans today, internal, are made out of poplar ply. And uh, actually many, many yachts today are coming out with internal poplar ply furniture. So super structures and stuff internal, they're actually using poplar ply. They're not telling you it, but they are. So, guys, I don't know, like, share, subscribe. Yeah. Don't subscribe, don't like, only share. Okay? Only share. We want popular Malin. Take care. All the best. Balkan shipyards. Gonna fix him up now. This is it. The done bumper. It's still a bare wood. This is just bare wood over here. Poplar ply. This one is six mil. Uh, let's see how long this one goes for. And I just glued it on, put a little bit of polyurethane glue, I glued it on to the old ply, the old formal that is still in place. And uh, now I'm just going to slap on uh, latex paint. Uh, so, kind of dark, eh? I'm going to put on um, outdoor uh, acrylic, which would be latex paint, which would be house paint, which would be whatever you want to call it, paint. The one I use is uh, made by Sherwin Williams. That's the one that's been up here on, on this car uh, for the last three and a half years. That's what I paint my birds with. I'm pretty happy with that stuff. And I'm just going to put on a single primer and a couple coats of uh, top coat. And uh, ciao, I bet you it's going to last for another three years. As long as I don't hit any jackals. So here's the finished product. That's my new skirt. Six more poplar. Paint it up, came out really well. I'm very happy with it. Like I said earlier, these pieces have been there for three and a half years, these small pieces on the sides. Only the middle piece is brand new. And uh, I bet you it's gonna last for a long, long time. So, yeah, and it looks good, eh? <laughs> That's it, guys. Uh, I don't know. Just that's it man like if we kind of push them they'll kind of maybe start thinking about it and start making it it's even better it's, it's more ecological it's greener it's whatever you want it's everything all together it's only win-win situation i don't understand what they're waiting for so share it tell them about it maybe it happens take care park and shipyards